All right, we're back for match number two with an updated uh, white black Super Friends deck. Um, so let's go ahead and just kick it off. Our last round was kind of comical because our opponent was playing some kind of red green graveyard shenanigans deck, and I kept top decking things, and he kept complaining, and eventually it just tilted him to the point where he just like resigned way early in both games. So that was kind of funny. Uh, check it out if you haven't already, and uh, maybe we'll have a more instructive game this match. So let's go ahead and queue up. All right, here we go. <clears throat> we'll play first one, the dice roll. Uh, Evolving Wilds, Plains. Yeah, this hand seems fine. I mean, I'll Evolving Wilds, crack it for a swamp. Um, we'll have to draw some lands, obviously, but Two Day of Judgments um, and a Tezzer's Gambit and a Go for the Throw is not bad with Lingering Souls. So I'm not going to mulligan this hand. I'm just going to crack it. <coughs> Grab a Swamp. Maybe it's premature, but let's do it. Alright, going to need to draw some lands here. Playing humans, or yeah, that's unfortunate. White, black, and I'm saying uh, either white, blue control or like Esper control. Yeah, it's Esper control. Looks like our solar flare. Oh, we are not drawing lands. That is very unfortunate. <clears throat> Discard Day of Judgment. Sure. Well, now I'm not sure what I'm playing exactly. I mean, Esper colors, but <clears throat> yeah, I guess we'll lingering souls. Got his own lingering souls, which is better than mine right now. <clears throat> well, uh, I kind of wish I hadn't discarded that day of judgment. Um, <laughs> let's see what I'm gonna do here. Well, I'm clearly gonna day of judgment, I guess. I mean, it seems clear to me. Um, I might as well attack him. No, hold on. Yeah, you know what? We'll attack him. If I attack Soren, he's just going to block. He might not block here, because it's just too damage, right? <clears throat> no, he is going to block. Okay. Maybe Day of Judgment is a little premature. Let's just Tezzer's Gambit. Um, maybe. <clears throat> we'll take 6, but we're still 20. Hmm. This is a little tough. Uh, yeah, I think we'll we'll day of judgment. I'd rather tether gambit after I have a planeswalker out. Jace memory adept. Yeah. Well, I think I play Elspeth here.
make soldiers. At this point, he probably thinks I'm just playing a straight up black white tokens deck. I don't really feel like I'm I'm winning this game, but at least I can see more of his deck, figure out what he's doing exactly. This is kind of a weird build to me. <clears throat> I guess it's Esper Control, but with a kind of a tokens theme. All right, well, I'm one away from it. If I draw a land, I could play Karn and, uh, like, exile his Jace, but I can't really rely on that necessarily. I guess I could go ahead and Tezzeret Gambit, um, proliferating at Elspeth, then make more soldiers. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. <clears throat> Did not draw a land, but we got that much closer to a land, I guess. Let's go on Lingering Souls. We do have two in our graveyard, by the way. <clears throat> I'm not really concerned about life right now, so I think I'm just going to put more soldiers on the battlefield. Um, let's attack Soren. All right. He's got a million cards in hand. Don't feel like I'm winning this game at all, but I'll do my best to stay in it. At least see more more cards. So I know how to sideboard. Lux and Zenith does get me pretty good. Yeah. I think I'm like forced to play Karn here. Hold on. Exiling Jace. Um, <laughs> gain life. Pass the turn, we're tapped out. It's kind of the battle of planeswalkers right now.
Yeah, you can kill Elspeth or Karn, whichever you choose. I'm sure it's going to be Karn. Yeah. And seven cards in hand means you can do a lot. There's your own Karn. All right. Exiling Elspeth. Yep. Corp orb. Okay. Not that great against my deck, but. Plus two. Again, I really feel like I'm way behind in this game. I just want to see. Um, yeah, you can have Gideon. Go ahead. I just want to see more cards in this deck. Probably have seen enough at this point, though. I probably will resign very shortly. Yeah, let's go and concede. This is a weird deck I'm playing against, but um, it's fine. Um, I'll bring in an additional Karn. Ratchet Bomb does not see. Well, he's got tokens. He's got a token theme. Never mind. Ratchet Bomb's good. Um, <clears throat> I don't know about Dismember. That seems bad. Gideon seems like maybe my less impressive of the Planeswalkers, but 3 O rings for his Planeswalkers, uh, Planeswalkers. Um, a White Sun Zenith, actually two of them might not be bad. I'm trying to decide if I want any combination of Spell Bomb or Surgical Extraction. <clears throat> Curse of Desold. <clears throat> Thinking about how I want to play this. Tragic Slip is not very exciting. And this deck, he didn't really have any big creatures that I saw at all. I'm going to play some Spell Skites. I think Curse of Deathhold could be actually quite good. Liliana um, seems good. I think we could always take out some um, Tizard's Gambits, I guess. Bring in a Nihil Spell Bomb, maybe. Or timely reinforcements, but I, I, life wasn't an issue. It was more like the control aspect of it. I think we'll run it like this and see what happens. We'll play first. Uh, 
Yeah, this, I mean, I don't like having a white sun zenith in my opening hand, really, but I don't think I mulligan this one. It's not great. <clears throat> yeah, we'll just crack it for planes. Go ahead. Let's play Soren. You know, I think I'm just going to straight up get an emblem. That way I at least get value out of this. Um, right away. For my White Sun Zenith or for my Elspeth. Yes, he has a Ratchet Bomb, but I can't O-ring it. In fact, I'm tempted to. Or I could just sort of encourage him to use it by playing Elspeth and making creatures right now. It's kind of tough. Um, but he might have a counter spell here. I don't think O-Ring is right. That just seems too early to play that card. Play Spell Sky, it's mana leap proof. Let's put a dude in play. Let's just go ahead and pass the turn. I mean, if he wants to blow his Ratch Bomb at this point or pump it up, that's fine. I guess he's stuck on mana at this point. Lingering Souls, yeah. Discards another Lingering Souls. <laughs> well, I could play Gideon here. I could get myself another Emblem. That would kill Soren. I think it's correct to play Gideon. Make another vampire. Let's go ahead and attack both of these guys. Spectral will just take it here. I think we'll just keep plus twoing it. Play Elspeth. 
got a counter spell. That's fine. <clears throat> we'll put another vampire in play. Pass the turn. He can flashback Lingering Souls, um, he can blow his Ratchet Bomb, he can attack then blow his Ratchet Bomb, he could play a land and play another Sorn or a uh, Day of Judgment or something. He's got options. He's going to go ahead and just straight up blow that, and that's fine. Then play a Lingering Souls. <clears throat> oh, think twice, okay. I'm fine with that. Fine with that line of play. And he has to discard. He does have the one lingering souls in his graveyard. I gotta keep that in mind. Witchbane orb. Destroy all curses. Oh, well, I did bring in cursive. Uh, blue or cursive. What did I bring in? What's the name of that curse? Curse of Deshold. Didn't I bring that in? Pretty sure I did. <coughs> um. Player land. Could leave up mana for White Sun Zenith. That'd be for one, two, three, four cats. Not enough to kill him yet. But maybe if I make a dude. Actually, it would be enough to kill him. I forgot because I have an emblem. Yeah, that's pretty good. I could get another emblem too. I think I'd rather just at this moment put another vampire in play. Um, he's tapped out, so I can do like six to him. Make this a creature. Um, we're going to leave it White Sun Zenith. We'll attack with Gideon and uh, Spell Sky for eight. Put him at four. Got lethal on the board. Plus the white sends Zenith up. Which he'll be like forced to counter. Let's see what he's got. Maybe a day of judgment or something? I don't know. That doesn't even work. Lingering souls, sure. Uh white sun zenith. Yeah, this game. <clears throat> Alright, round two. Don't want to change anything. So we had a Witchbane or, or uh, <laughs> I guess he was assuming I was playing Curse of Deshold. Um, he played some odd cards. I don't know if I want to change anything. I have one Night Hill Spell Bomb. Yeah, let's just run it like this. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't see how I can mulligan this one. I got four lands, two planeswalkers that go for the throat. Seems all right. <clears throat> yeah, no, three planeswalkers. That's what this deck does. It's called Super Friends. I'm going to keep Negate up or whatever counter magic he has. I saw Negate last game. Um, I'll Lingering Souls though. 
not let him know I have a swamp yet. So I was gonna say I don't think I don't see him countering that. It's like countering half a card. Especially since he probably has other answers. <clears throat> Alright, now he has got a uh, bunch of mana out, as do I. I'm just gonna pass the turn though. Attack for two and pass the turn. Alright, this guy's only lingering souls. It's definitely leaving up counter magic. I mean I can just that's something you can smell a mile away. <clears throat> it's probably in the gate, so I I probably you know, trying to stay out of mana lake range is not gonna really help me, I don't think. Let's start by attacking. Let's go ahead and flash this back. And pass the turn. It's going to do the same. Attack again. Alright, so something's going to get negated here. I can't really avoid it. Um, I have to decide here what I want to play. I'm thinking we'll start with Liliana. Let's see if he negates this. It resolves. Alright, fine. Um, each player discards it. We'll discard a go for the throat, I think. Discards a ghost quarter. <clears throat> He's got an O-ring for it. Sure. Uh, so I can play my my O-ring, and O-ring is O-ring. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I think. Maybe I'll negate this. All right. Uh, we'll play Soren out, I guess. Each have two cards in hand. If he's got a Karn or something, though, I might be in a lot of trouble. He's thinking. <clears throat> I think he's got a car. Okay, ratchet bomb. 
If he does not have a Karn, perhaps. Or he does, but he doesn't want to play it. I don't know. I honestly don't know. <clears throat> uh, make an emblem. He's got two cards in hand. He didn't counter my Sorn, which makes me wonder if he has another counter spell. Um, we're going to go ahead and attack. My gut says he does not have a counter spell, but if he does, oh well, he'll be down to one card. And it can't be a mana leak. It resolves. Um, I think we're actually just going to gain life here. Oh, I could potentially uh, ultimate Elspeth if I wanted to. Alright, still got two cards in hand. He just played a land, played planes. He has no play here. So I don't know what he's got in his hand. Um, it's baffling to me, actually. I'm going to make an emblem. Ultimate Elspeth, um, killing the O-Ring, getting Liliana back, but I'd lose Elspeth, and I could play Soren. Yeah. I think I'm going to do it. Ultimate Elspeth. Get back Liliana. Um, make each player discard. Discard Day of Judgment. He discards Black Sun Zenith. Alright, maybe he's got two of them. <clears throat> What if he's got a mana leak or something? Just some bad card? I don't know. Let's make a vampire. Attack for three. I have no idea what his last card is. And the fact that he discarded Black Sun Zenith seems like he maybe has another one or something equally good, a Karn or something. I don't know. A Liliana. Alright. That is fine. Alright, we will make a vampire. Gain life. Maybe I should have played Lingering Souls first. I'm taking this slowly. In case he has like Day of Judgment or something, but maybe I shouldn't. He's in top deck mode. Alright, he resigns. Good game. <laughs>